because you're not an idiot. Let's just humor him. Yates likes his little games. Don't be long. You got my message. You'd never get caught on camera. Not unless you wanted to be seen. So what's the play? You're not the only one who's been busy, 47. I'm this close to becoming the next constant. I'll be able to dismantle Providence from the inside. Only one man stands in my way. Don Yates. That weasel was the partner's legal counsel for years. He's the top candidate. But remove him from the playing field. It won't work. If Edward suspects... I will convince him you acted alone. Retaliation for Grey. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. The Herald, Tamara Vidal. She has eyes everywhere, and they're all fixed on you. The plan won't work unless we take her out. She never leaves my sight for long. Whatever your plan is, I'll help you if I can. You're sure about this? As sure as I'll ever be. Here, I got you an invitation, just like old times. Come find me when it's done. Good luck, 47. Ready, Pam? Three, two, one. Tina must be over the moon about John sleeping down. He's been living alone here. Bienvenidos to Viñeda Yates, señor. May I see your invitation, please? Gracias, señor. Enjoy the party. Yeah, keep it real. Tamara Vidal. I'm here for the tour, it seems. Ah, yes. Miss Vidal. My apologies. I wow. didn't recognize her. Corvo, got a message from the boss. Duty calls. Let me guess, the Burnwood woman. That's right. Gates has arranged for the chief winemakers to take Burnwood and Tamara Vidal on a grand tour of the estate. Wants you to tag along. Not for my sparkling personality. This Burnwood woman sure has his panties in a twist. Wonder what the deal is. Yates' business is his business. Just get yourself ready and sign into the visitor center. Oh. Have a drink on my behalf. I don't drink. It makes me sense my private tour of the estate. Diana, Vidal, and this fixer, Corvo. Yates. Yeah, I've got message. You mind telling me what I'm... I'm gonna be one of these heralds. It's a nice you need to start letting but me in on a bit few hubristic, things. wouldn't you say? He's not even been okay. appointed. Caution so who's his fault? Right? Has never been done the wine list? <laughs> <laughs> I'm more of no, a no, beer man myself, but I just Gates never framed an urban legend. Before. Play Very harsh truth. I, yeah. I, don't I like it. Edwards always was a bit of it. Plus, he has good reason to be confident. He is Edward's closest legal advisor. Not even Thomas Cross or Eugene Cobb had a direct line of contact. I'd say Yates is at the top of a very short list. So, how do you feel about Burnwood? How do you think? She and her friends killed Yamazaki, Cassidy, probably Bronson. How is she fit to be a herald? But on the other hand, she's back all the time and she's most certainly qualified. 
true. The constant knows what he's doing. And welcome to the Yates Winery. How may I... Corval Black. I'm on the tour. Right. Mr. Black. Welcome. Miss Burnwood and Miss Vidal will meet you down by the wine fields. I trust you know the way. I can find my way around. Enjoy the tour. One of the most gifted surveillance specialists ever to graduate. was in league with Grey. She's responsible for killing how many of our people? Over here. You two must be Burnwood and Vidal. And you must be Yates's garbage man. Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. This is Corvo Black, Tamara. He's a ICA regular. I only work with the best. Well, we're all here, it seems. Except for our guide, the chief winemaker. Looks like we're stuck here until someone fetches him. Mr. Black, I'm looking in your direction. Hold on. I'll track him down. Atta boy. Do try and bring him back in one piece. Counterintuitive as that may be. That was a bit rude. Yes. Yes, it was. Who are you? You're not allowed here. You have to be. Now. What? What is it now? What? You have some guests waiting. Senor Yates wanted you to give them the grand tour, remember? As if I don't have more important things to do than babysit Yates' socialized friends. It's only harvest season. Better do what he says, Patron. Big shot New York lawyer like that. Don't want to get on his bad side. Well, I'm not going anywhere until I have decided to take off his wife or me. Bring me the three Malbec grapes, hey, Yates doesn't like how I prioritize. He can weigh me down with concrete. It was me of a bridge. How's that? <laughs> Three grapes, was it? I'll get my picking knife. <laughs> oh, man, come on. I left it.
I don't know, I think I had too many drinks and, and all of a sudden I just woke up and, and here I was in a, in a hotel room with people who didn't know. What do you think? I, I didn't do anything to her. No, not that I know, you know. Uh, so, but I love you, I love you so much. I want you to understand that I love you and I don't have a Mr. Vargas, I have the three grapes you requested. Yes, good. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good. Oye, this is my pie. Tu cuidado, huevón. Now, let's see. A lovely inky black color. Good size. Large and firm. Seeds. Brown. Excellent. Finally, Sweet, flavorful, robust tannins. Some floral notes. Marvelous. Why? I say these grapes are ripe for harvest. Inform the workers, will you, Ramon? I I have a third to conduct. Will do. Hello, wine lovers. Hello. Yeah, hey. Welcome to Vineda Yates. I do apologize for the delay. At the Malbec grape is a demanding mistress. So, I am Gabriel Vargas, chief wine maker, and I will be your tour guide. Any questions before we start? Yes, but you're not going to like them. I, uh... We're good. Lead the way, Senor Vargas. Wonderful. Follow me. These are busy times. In fact, we're just about to harvest this year's crop. Great expectations. So, mm. how do you like Argentina? Like everywhere else, full of Americans. First stop was the tourist and production floor, where our prize-winning Malbec grapes are processed. We insist on steaming every grape by hand, which means that during harvest season, the grapes do tend to pile up. Luckily, we have plenty of storage space. Our equipment is state-of-the-art, including an industrial size fridge unit, and last, but not least, a plus great Interesting. What did you say, Mr. Ben? Follow me. Are you a wine man, Black? Somehow you can see the place. I believe Mr. Black here is something of a jack of all trades. Isn't that so? I dabble. I see. I just thought Yates might be sending a message. My mistake. So, have any of you been to our vineyard before? Only on business. Next on our tour is the fermentation atrium, where the wine goes through its primary stage of fermentation. In these big open tanks, yeast converts the sugars in the wine to alcohol in a process that lasts between 5 and 15 days. This is also where we squeeze the mass into a fine juice using our grape presser for the longer secondary stage of fermentation. Fascinating. Now, before we move on, do any of you have questions? I have a question. It's... perhaps we can take a closer look. Certainly. Lead the way. What can you tell me about this device? Great presser, was it? That is correct, senor. After primary fermentation, the mass is pressed through a fine filter, leaving only the flesh and skins behind. I should add 
The grape stomping, the iconic practice of crushing grapes with your bare feet, is historically red and mostly a tourist gimmick. But you are most welcome to try. Imagine you're a grape. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pass. Oh, go on. I'll take a picture of the three of you. Oh, come on, Tamara. When in Rome. Fine. So, may I see that, Mr. Vargas? I believe I blinked. Hold on a second, sir. Do you recognize him at all? No, all good. Look at what happened to your colleague? Urgent call. Something about work. I don't think she'll be coming back. Oh well. I'm sure she can find her. Excelente. Let's go to the bar of You follow me. So, are you associates of Mr. Yates? You might say we run in the same circles. Law and order. Must be very exciting. It's about 99% preparation. I know we are right. Hope you're well, I sir. This is where we store the wine and secondary station organization. The area behind the glass is where we keep our most precious bottles, including a 1945 Grand Paladin, the most expensive wine in existence. The access doors, which are made from ballistic glass, can only be unlocked from the security room high above our heads. Remarkable. Ah! Here comes Senor Yates now. I shall leave you in his capable hands. How reassuring. Ah, Miss Burnwood, is it not? Don Yates, pleased to meet you. You come very highly recommended. As Chief of the Heralds, let me be the first to say welcome aboard. Why, thank you, Mr. Yates. Rest assured that I will be following your every lead very closely. Say, that reminds me. We're about to have a little herald get-together up at the house. Just a modest toast to celebrate my forthcoming inauguration as constant. You are, of course, most welcome to join us. I believe you shall make a fine herald once the training wheels are off. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Capital. Right this way, into the lion's den. <laughs> Why don't you take a break, Corvo? We're done here for now, I think. Oh, but don't go too far. I may still need your services later. I'll be closer than you think. Oh, almost forgot. Cortazar, please nip down to the wine cellar and tell Mr. Flowers, the sommelier, to prep the 1945 Grand Paladin and bring it up to the house for our special occasion. Got it, Chief. Mr. Yates wants the 1945 Grand Paladin brought up to the house. Special occasion. What? Did the aliens land on the front lawn? Have the ghosts of Jesus, John Lennon, and Ava Perone unexpectedly come for dinner? Help me out here. What could possibly be so special? Above your clearance, Flowers. Just fetch it on. Meeting in the root cellar. I'm judging from Yates's choice of wine. Ready. Fine. What's the passcode again? Last year of World War II. If you have to look it up, shame on you.
sent, you know, it's just of the 1945 Grand Paladin. It is perfection, irreplaceable. You don't drink the 1945 Grand Paladin any more than you would write a shopping list on the Mona Lisa. Oh, men like Don Gates know the price of everything, but the value of nothing. I am sorry, Patron. What? No! <laughs> Flowers, over here. Come on, while we're young. Sir, I present to you the 1945 Grand Paladin. Huh. Somehow I thought it'd be bigger. Come on, Flowers. Guests are waiting. Hey, what the hell? You want a piece of me? I'm gonna need to frisk you off if you want to come through here. You seem nervous. You got something to hide? Okay, everything seems to be in order here. Hey, you'll get to stepping, Holmes. So here's the deal, Flowers. The boss is having a powwow with some employees, and discretion is the name of the game. I'm sure you figured that out already. All of it. I have always considered the Heralds the unspoken heroes of Providence. Ah, ladies Worry and gentlemen, not, Mr. Cortesar, Mr. Flowers, I our resident sommelier. Discretion. I believe he has brought us something quite special. Perhaps you will educate us, Mr. Flowers. This is the 1945 Grand Paladin. One of only five bottles in existence. The vintage is legendary. The proverbial unicorn wine. The year was hot. The wines super concentrated. Thanks to hail and frost, the production was small. Only 300 bottles were ever produced. And when the vineyard was bombed during the closing days of World War II, only a single crate survived. 
It is said to have amazingly complex aromas with long, savory layers of fruit and spice flavors and a silky texture. Enjoy. Wonderful. Thank you, Mr. Flowers. Feel free to stick around in case our guests have questions. Hey, yo, what's up? This wine was gifted to me by the Art Society in acknowledgement of my firm's legal services. It stands as a powerful reminder that Providence draws its strength not from force, but from partnership. We are but a few, and yet together, we are unstoppable because we stand united. My friends, loyalty is everything, which is why we cannot allow traitors into our ranks. Ah, oh, yes. Here it comes. This woman has waged bloody war on us. More than a dozen heralds and operatives dead. Your colleagues and clients, my friend, Ken Morgan. Not to mention the partners themselves, our founders, our benefactors. Make no mistake, this woman's hands are soaked in blood. Our blood. And Arthur Edwards, the new supreme head of Providence, is handing her the keys to the kingdom. Now, does that seem right to you, my friends? Does that sound like loyalty? He's got Absolutely. Point. Yes. Perhaps Absolutely. Edwards simply recognizes talent when he sees it. Perhaps this is why I am also in the running to become constant and following this childish outburst. I dare say I am in the lead. Dawn. I mean, what, what the hell? She's You're saying? lying, of course. Which only proves my point. You cannot be trusted, Miss Burnwood. This woman will be our downfall. That is, unless we take matters into our own hands. You are heralds, sworn to protect Providence against all threats, including inside ones. I have devised a plan. Together we can make it work, but you have to decide now, my friends. Are you with me? Yes. Yes. I'm in. Yes. I agree. Yes. Escort Miss Burnwood to my office. I'll join you shortly. Right. Move it. Let's go. I'm warning you, Yates. This will not go your way. We need to get our story straight. Diana Burnwood died today by the hand of her own We might have a situation. Sweeping area, over. Excuse me? Hey, what's the situation here? You look freaked out.
yourself a guard outfit. Yates won't be long. I was beginning to worry. Were you? No. Listen up, 47. Yates will be here shortly. He'll have his thug Cortazar do his dirty work, but he won't pass up on the chance for a good gloat and a monologue. So, private space? Kill room decor? Exactly. We won't get another shot at this. Now sit down and blend in. When I provide a distraction, you just be ready to move. Corvo, pick up your damn phone. Plan B is a go. I repeat, plan B is a go. Start prepping the crime scene like we discussed. Remote, staged accident. Cortazar will bring the package. Get it done. Miss Burnwood. You rolled out the red carpet just for me. Don, you shouldn't have. So confident, even in defeat. I suppose you're not used to danger, always safe behind your screens. Just tell me one thing before we part ways. Why me? Why you? Why would Edwards trust you? Please. It will keep me awake at nights and I'm 65. I get up four times to piss as it is. No, it's simple, really. Edwards is proud. He considers himself the cleverest man alive, and yet we tricked him on Isle of Scale and it's eating him up. He needs to win. Full, unequivocal victory. My recruitment was just the feather in his cap. By the way, you were right about one thing. Yeah, I'm all ears. Holy shit! Turns out this woman will be a downfall. If it's an yeah. isolation, Dawn, what you're you in you dead asshole? on. I will be constant. Shoot her! And I will make it my mission to tear down Providence. Right back. Finish it. Such a good boy. Well done, 47. Better get rid of the body. Won't be long before they come looking. When you're done, meet me on the dance floor. Oh, and dress appropriately.
chat. I dare say congratulations are in order. It's done. Now what? Now, we strike at the heart. Edwards. You know how to find him, don't you? Why, Edwards finds you, 47. He is untraceable, and he never lets you forget it. He is cocky, and that will be his downfall. What's the plan? Too many eyes. Meet me at the Olive Grove at sunset. One last tango, 47. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether brand's neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent. Are you still here? Still clinging on to your self-image? Agent 47, the Apex Predator. Always hiding behind the headlines. Was perfection its own justification? Or a willful distraction? A wall built contract by contract to shield you from the uncomfortable truth. You're exactly the tool they bred you to be. <laughs> Quite a piece of work you are. How could you possibly function on your own? You never even had a name. 
until I gave you one. That's him. Burnwood never ceases to surprise me. You really are a most singular individual. And to think she wanted me to put you down. Lucky for you, I never throw away anything useful. Prepare the serum. Forgetting's not so bad. You've done it before. What's he doing? Is he still looking at us? I'm afraid so. Poor Sap just won't accept his days are done. Perhaps I should take him out to the woods and set him free. Oh, it's a classic. <laughs> he was a loyal tool. But everything goes the way of the horse and cart eventually. I couldn't agree more. Are you done? The toxins are playing into your fears. Don't let them. Come on. Gotta get your head straight. She wants me dead. She has every right to after what we did. But that's not what is really going on. She chose power. In the end, she was just like them. No. She found a way to turn Edward's own cleverness against him. The rest is up to you. I don't know how. You do know. Diana! Coming! Once you dispose of Edward's, I will dismantle Providence from the top down. It will finally be over. All you have to do is embrace the past. sample of the serum. We need to find a catchy name for it, for when we go commercial. Figure this thing has commercial applications? Who'd want to have their minds wiped? Not wiped, obviously. But that's just the fun. Tuning. Okay, right now the serum erases long and short term memory banks wholesale. But in a couple of cycles, we'll be able to isolate the effect to individual memory.
last time I saw weather like this, I was doing extreme condition training at the Army Base at Pat. At a Wawa? Ether Corporation bought this train for sample backup storage. But since the bombing of their R&D site in Johannesburg, they're refitting the cars in its mobile supposed to be exactly? Ukraine? It all looks the same through the blizzard. Nah, somewhere in Romania. We're on a loop from Zagreb to here, of course. Not risky. What about the border into
Yeah, hey. Oh, can you grab me a soda or something? When is the, uh, boss getting off? Sarajevo. He only got on board to identify the sedated guy in the medical car. Right. How would John Doe? You know where we're taking him? This Sakata facility in Mongolia. The boss's private bodyguards, those guys in heavy body armor up trained. Yeah, they all trained there. Maybe John Doe is set to join their ranks. No kidding. That's the team that capped Lucas Gray. Those boys must be tough as nails. You know, I toured with Gray back in Chechnya. Yeah. Crazy son of a bitch. Glad it wasn't me in those woods. I went down. It can't have been pretty. You do know who he is, right? Sure, sure. Everyone's very impressed. I get it, I get it. And if you want some kind of elaborately planned calamity or a convenient heart attack, sure, he's your man. But how does he manage in a brawl? I'm willing to bet this guy doesn't have a candle to any of us. Too much sneaking around and dressing up, too little fighting. Right. You feel like putting that theory to the test? I just might.
myself. Well played, Miss Burnwood. Do you really think she'll be able to resist all that power? This is not how people work. She rejects the power, not the responsibility. <laughs> A noble idea. But please join me in the real world. I trust you already know what this is. Why not simply take it? Embrace who you were always meant to be. No, never again. <sighs> well, I had to try. Go on then. Do your thing. At least I die knowing who I am. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back. 